don't just live for tomorrow or just live in yesterday just be glad for all you have that's in today and though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Hocus Pocus 2. 30 years ago, the first Hocus Pocus was released, and it did not do well. But over the years, thanks to replayings on Disney Channel and whatnot, it gained a cult following. Um, now, all this time later, three decades later, we get our sequel. And... I'm reacting to it today thanks to Smurf Vlogs, who has donated for it. Um, so yeah. I don't like the first one. <laughs> Just get that right out of the way. Um, though to be fair, I actually haven't seen it in probably a decade. Because I saw it, uh, I think back in 2012 or so. Yeah, it would have had to have been. Either 2011 or 2012. Um, when I was at college, um, in fact, then I think it would have to be 2011. Yeah, it would have had to have been 2011. Okay, so it was 2011. <laughs> um, I, I went to college at the time at a, at a school called Baker College of Flint. And right next to the college, right next to the dorms, there was a church. And the church had its basement converted into a sort of hangout place for the students who lived on campus and stuff. And uh, uh, anyone could go there. But it was, uh, especially for the students who lived on campus, the uh, the heads of the dorms would, like, help run it and everything. And, and it had video games there. It had a computer room. Uh, you could go there to study. They would do movie nights and game nights and stuff. It's actually the first place I ever played Skyrim at. I played it on uh, the PlayStation they had there. Um, but during Halloween season that year, they had a movie night for Hocus Pocus. It was a movie I had heard of but never seen, so I decided to give it a try, and yeah, I didn't like it. I don't know if it was just how I was at the time, because as I've stated in the past, um, I was a very different person. A decade ago I was not the same person I am now by any means and, and maybe that did influence some things maybe the the way I acted the way I thought uh, was influencing my views on the film but I just couldn't get into it I, I didn't enjoy it and I don't know what I would think of it nowadays because again I have not seen it since then but I did reacquaint myself with the general premise of the first film, just so this second one will probably make more sense. So in the first film, um, it, it basically starts off with the Sanderson sisters, the, the witches of the film, um, back in the 1600s in Salem, Massachusetts. Um, they steal this girl's soul to fuel themselves and make them younger but are captured and killed, put to death by the village. Um, they then awaken in the, in the modern day, I guess the 90s, <laughs> um, when another boy accidentally uh, awakens them via a curse that uh, they placed before their deaths. Like, if anyone lights this candle in our home, we'll come back. And it's like, oh, their home in the current day is now a museum. And I guess this certain candle was lit. Something like that. Uh, so they come back and they're trying to feed on kids. But if they don't uh, feed on the kids' souls by a certain time, they die. All kinds of shenanigans happen. Uh, the Sanderson sisters are defeated. Um, and it kind of teases at the end that there's a possibility for more. Which it took three decades to come, to get to, but still. Um, so, there's also a talking cat. Because Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I guess. 
<laughs> I mean, you got to have a talking cat. A talking cat. It's just it was a trope at a t for a time. Um, because there was some. There was another show that did it too. It wasn't just Sabrina. There was another show that had a talking cat. I believe. I can't think of for the life of me what it was. Um. But yeah, either way. Um, there was also some musical stuff, like, uh, I'll put a spell on you and all, but, um, the one Sanderson sister, the blonde one, there's this one song she sings, I can't think of the name of it right now, but she sings it when, like, she's flying over the town trying to put a spell on the kids and lure them and everything. Um, I can think of the song, the tune of the song in my head, I just can't think of the name, but I actually more know that song for a... I'm not even kidding here. A My Little Pony parody of it. <laughs> uh, it's not even a parody. It's the actual song. It's just a cover of the song, but it's set to like a... It's set to a animation of Princess Luna. Uh, kind of doing the same thing. Uh, she's flying through a, a, an equestrian village, luring the children out with her song. So it's, it's the same basic idea, but that's actually, I, I know the song more for that animation. Um, so that that's funny. <laughs> Just a little fun fact for you there. Um, obviously I had heard the song before I ever discovered MLP, but it's really that that I know the song for. But yeah, I, I know that's in the, in the original. And I vaguely remember just, you know the original designs of things and everything just the kind of oh almost disney channel original movie look like it almost kind of reminded in terms of its visual style almost kind of reminds me of or makes me think of you know halloween town just without the goofiness of halloween town Le a less goofy halloween town um but that might be me misremembering too to be fair um because again, I haven't seen it in that long. And I might have seen like a very short clip or two, or maybe a very uh, just out of context image or two here or there between. In fact, I probably have. But I, I couldn't tell you much otherwise. But like I said, I never really got into the movie. I never really liked it. I never really understood the, the massive... Uh, the massive fandom it gained in the years after its release and all. And it's just, it, it just never uh, appealed as much to me. Um, but now 30 years later, later, the sequel has been released. And again, Smurf wanted me to react to it. And I'm willing to check it out. I'm fully willing to check it out, fully willing to give it a chance. Who knows? I might end up liking it. Um, and for all I know, I could probably go back to the first and I might end up liking that a lot more than I did. The thing is, I don't know because I haven't seen it in so long. But like I said, we're going to give this one a chance. We're going to see what it's like and hopefully I enjoy it. I don't know what the story is going to be comparatively. I assume the Sanderson sisters are just going to be woken up via the spell again. But I don't know, like, what differences there's going to be compared to the first. And again, I, I don't remember much about the first, so I might not even recognize every difference anyway. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, um, all three of the main actresses, uh, the Sanderson sisters, are all back. I don't know about anyone else who was in the original, but I believe all three of them are back. Sarah Jessica Parker, Bette Midler, and Kathy Najimy. Um, to my knowledge, all three did return for this, despite being obviously 30 years older than they were in that film. Um, so I'm wondering if they just use, did they just use makeup or did they, uh, did they use like CG to make them look younger? I'm just kind of curious. Or maybe they didn't make them look younger because again, in the first film, didn't they like gain their youth back through absorbing souls so maybe that's gonna be like kind of how you explain their more older look at this point just they don't get younger again or something i don't know or as, as young maybe 
Um, but we'll see how it is. Um, yeah, this, this, like I said, is just a donation reward. It isn't a Halloween special video. Um, but it's still fitting for the season, obviously. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this a fair shot. And if I don't end up liking it that much, then I don't. It's not that big a deal. It's all opinion. It's all subjective. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So let's just get this going. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So, I... I, I I looked some things up, and I found out while just looking up stuff from, like, the original movie and this movie and all, that apparently the original movie was uh, directed by Kenny Ortega, like, high school musical Kenny Ortega, um, which is interesting. And, and the director of this was, like, also the director of Step Up and 27 Dresses and all, uh, neither of which I've seen, by the way. But I, I, I've obviously seen high school musicals, so I know Kenny Ortega's work. Um, maybe I would need to see the original movie again. But was the, was the witch, the, the witch who gave the Sanderson sisters the book and everything, was she in the original? And, and if she was, did we ever know anything more about her? Because in this, it's like she, we just find out, okay, she gives them the book when they were teenagers. And nothing ever comes of that. We, we never find out anything more. Like, we see the bird at the end, which, again, the bird was clearly her and everything. But it's like, so she's just around still watching things? Is that set up for a third movie? Or, or is that just never going to be explained? I have a lot of questions, I feel, about who this other witch was. And I feel like that, that, it felt like that was supposed to be answered. But it just wasn't. So that, that part threw me off. Um, but other than that, I actually thought this was fun. It wasn't like the best movie ever or anything. I, I wouldn't consider it like a big classic or anything. Um, but it was fun. And again, maybe it's just because it's been so long and I maybe I do need to see the original again. Um, maybe it was just because of how I was back then, who I was as a person. Maybe if I watched the original now, I would like it a lot more. But this sequel, at least, was fun. Again, nothing like special, nothing amazing, but I enjoyed it. I, I was having fun with it. Um, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy Najimy, fantastic. Like, from the little bit I remember of the original movie and all, like, they really stepped right back into these characters without even the slightest bit of losing the charm, the wit, the humor. Like, they still got it. They, they've definitely still got it. Um... The the new characters with the teens and everything they were they were well acted as much as you can really get. Um, Billy was in the first movie, right? The zombie dude was he the same actor? I'm not sure. And, and from what I could tell, uh, the the shop owner he was new, completely. He was an interesting addition to this. Um, the musical scenes especially the uh, one way or another scene, like th those were definitely highlights of the film. The one way or another flash mob kind of scene was, Jesus, that fly went right into my face. <laughs> it was actually really uh, fantastic. Um, and, and I thought the pacing was done well too. The pacing, the story, all of that was 
pretty pretty good. The effects were a little meh. Like, I I don't know like what the budget for this was and, and everything. I don't know like how much effort they put into that. They might have wanted it to feel more like the original in terms of the effects, so maybe that's why they were just kind of meh. But especially the bird, it's like that that CGI bird that you know was the other witch. Really, really noticeably CG. <laughs> really noticeably um but yeah i i actually enjoyed this a lot more than i thought i was going to so there is that um yeah it, it, it was fun it was interesting it kept my attention i never felt bored or anything so there so that's a good thing um and, and i think that it's an interesting idea to have this this a uh, new character this girl also be a witch in the end now the other the only other thing i would say i am a little conflicted about is it does seem to that this, that this movie is really trying to make you sympathize with the sanderson sisters but it's still undeniable to me that they're still villains they're bad in what they've done but the 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 fact that the movie is clearly making you like feel bad for them and like see them as victims of well the 1600s let's just put it that way of the entire salem witch trials and witch hunts and all of that shit and just the church back then let's we could just say that and that's enough <laughs> but yeah it, it's they're clearly being portrayed as villains created by just terrible circumstance they were turned into villains they were they were basically made evil because of how they were treated and mistreated how shitty the church and everyone in salem jesus it just keeps flying right past my head Ugh. But yeah, they were, they were clearly treated so terribly that it made them vengeful. And that's kind of their entire shtick. Vengeance. So you do kind of maybe feel a little bad for them, but then you also remember they eat children's souls. And it's like, they're still very much bad people. <laughs> but at least at the end, when, when Winifred went out, she did thank them. She did thank them for helping reunite her with her sisters, even in death. And she did, uh, she did even, you know, treat, treat our main girl, Becca, I believe her name was. Um, she did even treat her with respect in the end. I will give her that. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I had fun with this. So thank you, Smurf, for donating for this. And maybe I'll check out the first again, even if just with a reaction on YouTube or something. Someone else's reaction, I mean. Um, but if anyone wishes to donate and stuff, uh, we are about to enter the October double reward special. So for every donation, you get two rewards for the price of one. It's completely optional, just as donating always is. Uh, but if you are able and want to donate, you can, and you get two rewards instead of just one. And it can be a movie, it can be a series, it can be YouTube stuff, anything you want as long as I haven't seen it. And you can always ask me if I've seen it. Um, but that will be going the entire month of October. So if there's rewards you want to see, this is a good way for you to get me to check them out. And I know, Smurf, I know you do have something uh, planned for the future for your next uh, donation um, because we had already talked about it, the Tinkerbell specials, right? So when and if you're ready to donate for that, do so at your leisure. Um, and, I will, and once you do, I will get to those as quickly as I can. Um, but in the meantime... Uh, let me know down in the comments below, uh, everyone who watches this, uh, what did you think of Hocus Pocus 2? Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts, and for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.